everybody so as you've seen at the beginning of the video I was out of town for a little bit didn't really take the camera out too much while I was out took care of business vibed out and that was it now that I'm back as you can see I got a new bike on the bike rack that's the 27 and a half PK Ripper the new one finally got it long story short with getting that that bike was sold out everywhere in California I tried everywhere from San Diego all the way up to San Jose the crazy part was I even started hitting up shops in Hawaii to see if they would ship it to me. Luckily, I had a friend that lived in Arizona. Local shop out there had it. So my friend drove it down, ended up getting the bike. So I, I switched a few parts on there. So I'm taking it for a little test drive right now. I wanna make sure that, that the bike is on the up and up before we go on an actual Monday ride because on the Monday rides, we do, you know, 20 plus miles, a lot of hills, a lot of climbing hills, a lot of bombing hills. We're going fast. And I wanna make sure that the bike's gonna hold up with the regular ride before I even get into riding a Monday ride with this thing. So, check this dude out. Yeah. So, we're headed to the beach right now. Get a little ride in, test this thing out, make sure the pedals don't fall off or the handlebars break or anything like that, you know what I mean? All right, so we just pulled up. So before I turn this camera off, I wanted to touch base on, on something that few people ask me about. I know I say a lot of people ask me questions and stuff. There's a lot of people that ask questions, but I only got a few questions about this in my comments and some of my DMs, and it was asking about fulfillment. Um, a lot of times people think fulfillment can only be done with DTG. Obviously, I do it with uh, Plastisol transfers. It's profitable for myself. So there's some people that, that want to know more about that. A lot of people don't have the same workflow as me. They might do things a little different, but if you do things similar to what I do can profit. It makes sense for me because I'm printing shirts already. So throwing a few extra shirts in for a different brand isn't a big deal. If I already have the press heating up and I'm already gonna be there doing 25 to 35 shirts, what's throwing an extra five to 10 shirts for another brand on top of that, making a little extra money, you know what I mean? So let me get on this bike right now. All right, just got done. Quick little 14, 15 mile ride. One thing I did wanna say is I was riding around the South Bay, Redondo Beach, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, all the way to Dockweiler. Let me catch my breath. One thing going through Manhattan Beach, they got signs everywhere. I didn't have the camera with me. I was just pedaling through, listening to a podcast. But they're fining people. $100, second offense, $350 if you're out in public and not wearing a mask. This is going through Manhattan Beach. When I was going through like Redondo and Hermosa and all that, no signs. Once I got to Manhattan Beach, it was on there. And um, there's a lot of people out there not wearing masks, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of people wearing masks. We ride down here. I come walking with my wife down here all the time. Me and my wife and my kids ride our bikes down here. Before I seen this, nobody wearing masks. My family would wear masks just to protect ourselves, but nobody was wearing masks. Today, a bunch, I mean, people running, walking, on bikes, rollerblading, roller skating, skateboarding, had masks on, which is crazy. I would imagine that other cities are gonna follow suit and maybe enforce some kind of mask rule like this where they're gonna be finding people not wearing masks out in public. But Manhattan Beach had signs everywhere, all along the streets, all along the Strand. $100 first offense, $350 second offense. And there was a lot of police out there. I don't know how many people were getting tickets, but it was crazy to see. Just wanted to throw that out there. The mask thing is real. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Manhattan Beach is finding people for not wearing masks. I was getting some questions. I didn't get a lot of them, but I got a few questions regarding fulfillment. Now, I wasn't too sure if you guys were looking for fulfillment services or if you wanted to operate as the fulfillment company for yourself. 
So what I'm going to do is try to break it down as best as possible on how I do fulfillment for some local brands around my city and how I make it profitable for myself using Plastisol transfers and all of that. Easiest way for me to do it is to draw it out on the whiteboard so you guys could get a better visual aspect of how the money comes in versus what I'm spending on transfers and all of that good stuff, all right? So I'm gonna take the camera, put it down on the whiteboard and get it going. So you wanna do fulfillment for another brand. You want to be the fulfillment company for another brand. You want to actually make money printing for somebody else. This is how you could do it. A lot of people think fulfillment and they think of Printful. They think of DTG. That's the only way to do it. It's print on demand, blah, blah, blah. Nothing wrong with that. There's, that's an easy way to do things. And you're right. That's a good way to do it. But you have to remember those DTG printers are like, you know, obviously 10 grand, 15 grand, 25, 35. You get the picture. It's a big investment for that kind of stuff. Let me show you how you could get into this for as little as possible, right? This is how I run things. This is how I do fulfillment for other companies, right? So let's say you're already going to order transfers, right? Here's the big transfer sheet. Let's say this is 19 by 12 and a half. That's the sizing, right? You are already going to order these, right? You're going to order 100 of them at $1.50 a pop. These are single color. It's 150 bucks. You are already going to spend $150 for some transfers. So this is the design I wanted to do. This is the front one. It's going to be 12 and a half. I mean, a 12 inch design. The next one, it was going to be, let's say it's going to be a circle design. That's the back hit. And then let's just say that this is part of the design. I don't know what I'm doing, but that's part of the design. And then there's a small front hit, right? So this is the left chest print. This is the back print. This is a different design for the front print. You have all of this extra space on your transfer sheet to put some other stuff, right? So what I do is I gang up. Here's a design that a company wants me to print for them to do fulfillment. Put it right there. Let's say we just do two of those and then we still have some extra room down here. We'll just put another design. I don't know. So we have one two three four this one's part of two so we'll just say those go together this one's like a five but now nah, we just won't even count that one in there. we'll just say one two three four all right these ones are yours you are already going to order those these ones right here are for another company so when this happens right here right the breakdown for this is basically each one of these comes out to like 40 cents, right? Maybe a little under 40 cents. This one's 40 cents. You got a hundred of these. You got a hundred of these, hundred of these, hundred of these. Each one comes out to about 40 cents. You are already going to spend $150 ordering these transfers because you are already going to print this. This was just extra room. This is how I do things. This is for another company. That's for another brand. I'm going to charge these guys 12 bucks, $12 to print this shirt, right? Like I said, it was 40 cents each t-shirt, all style black. I already stocked these, right? All of these right here. I'm already stocking. This is nothing new. I already stock all style black. Now I'm just going to be using these all styles for this brand also. So I'm going to have to be ordering more, but We'll just say 250 per shirt. 240, 270. We'll call it 250 for the sake of the video. 40 cents for the transfer. In the hole for 290. I would just say three dollars. Round it up, right? Three dollars. You're charging them 12. So you're making nine bucks. That's your take home, right? $9. The customer would have to charge, we'll just say 18 bucks for the shirt, right? So they charge 18. They're taking home six bucks for doing nothing. They're doing the marketing. You're doing all the hard work. You're getting nine bucks. But is this really hard work? Because you are already going to order these transfers right here. This was just extra space. You just threw them on. So it's basically pretty much free. And then on top of that, you're making nine dollars because you already press shirts every single day. I press shirts every single night and I'm doing maybe 25 to 35 shirts. 
What's throwing in an extra five to 10 shirts for another brand? The press is already heated up. It only takes me 10 seconds to press a shirt. So for every 10 seconds, I'm getting nine bucks. That's an easy call, right? $9 for 10 seconds of my time. And I was already doing it for these other shirts, all my other brands, all the custom work, everything else I'm doing. I already have the press heated up. Why not just throw these extra ones in? So that's how I do it. I'm making $9 off of each shirt that I do for fulfillment for the customer, right? Now you probably think like, man, $9 for all that work. It's not really a lot of work. It's 10 seconds, right? The transfer is already printed. I'm cutting the transfer out. So this is the transfer, right? So we have one right here, circle design, and then we have a smaller one. Then we have one right here, one right here. Chop, 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 chop with the scissors, chop, 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 chop with the scissors, ready to go. This one, I'm already cutting these up because I'm doing this shit on my own. Cut these down with the scissors. These are ready to be printed. Like I said, it's going to take me 10 seconds. If that, lay the shirt down, bring the press down 10 seconds. Boom, it's done. Shirt's ready to go. $9 for 10 seconds of my time. That right there is an easy call when you're doing fulfillment for other companies, right? Now you're thinking like, oh, what if the company or what if the brand's like, oh, I want to do all these different designs. You talk them out of it. You're the one doing it, right? If you cannot commit to it, then by all means, just tell them like, nah, I can't do that. Can't do that. Find somebody else to do it. And then you talk them down by saying, all right, if you wanted to get these screen printed, this is what you're going to have to do. Find somewhere to stock four dozen, five dozen of these t-shirts. And oh, you want to do eight different designs? Find somewhere to stock four dozen of each design, right? Now, on top of that, you're going to be paying $35 setup fee. You're going to be paying six to eight dollars per print and that's not even including the shirt so now when you break the numbers down it's going to be very very eye-opening for them that oh shit this takes a lot more time a lot more space and a lot more money than going through somebody like this where all right you have three or four designs you could put those three or four designs on one sheet boom right here so this is all the brand's designs on one sheet right you still paid a dollar fifty per for 100 of them. So that's 150 bucks for all of these. And you still got 100 of these, 100 of these, 100 of these, 100 of these. And you're still going to be getting $9 per, right? So that's nine for this one, 900 for this one, 900 for this one, 900 for this one. That's your profit. That's how that shit works. For $150 investment, you're going to be making that easy call right easy call each one of these is going to be nine bucks so that's 900 900 900 that's your profit off of this one sheet that you paid 150 bucks for that's an easy easy call the breakdown is right there in front of you so if you wanted to get into fulfillment if you wanted to try this out by all means do this man try it out see if it works for you and then on top of that a lot of people are like, oh, well, how do you do that? How do you manage these sites? Man, you could be doing Big Cartel is free. You could be getting a Shopify, 30 bucks. If you're making money like this, $30 a month ain't going to hurt you. You know what I mean? But you could get the $10 a month from Big Cartel. You could use any of those online platforms to run this. I mean, it costs like $10 to get a domain. So if you got a domain for 10 bucks for the whole year, you run that all day long. You know what I mean? And all you're doing is running the back end of it. Somebody else is doing all the marketing. So if they're not doing the marketing and they're not selling shit, you don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? You just sit back. You still do whatever you're doing. You're already making money selling your own shirts. Like I said, if you're already printing your own shirts and doing stuff and you're already working almost every day on your own shirts, your press is already heated up. What's a few more shirts into that order every night? Easy money. Know what I mean? Hopefully this helps you guys out for the people that were asking about this. That's how I run my fulfillment for a few of these other local brands, right? Obviously I'm helping out the local brands. I'm doing it not necessarily just for the money, but because I know they don't have the means to print and do stuff and I want to see them through and help them out. So that's why I do it. That's how I do it. Hopefully this will help you guys out. Put a little extra money in your pocket. If not, no worries. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.